said to be an emotional day for Sean Ellis. He's still out here on the plaza meeting with his attorney and some other supporters. Prosecutors already trying to turn this around. They're appealing the decision to grant him a new trial. So it's not done yet. But this chapter ended with Sean Ellis in the arms of his family. Sean Ellis Forty has spent more than half his life in jail, convicted in the 1993 killing of a Boston police officer. Last month, a judge decided evidence that might have helped Ellis was withheld. She ordered a new trial. I would like to thank uh, the Honorable Judge Ball uh, for giving me opportunity and freedom. I'd like to thank my family and my supporters, everybody that helped me and, and stood by me and, and helped to raise the bill. I can't make any more comments from this point on. But I'm just thankful that he's free. When I read through all the various rulings and the different setbacks, I could see the, the illogic in them, and I just knew that somehow justice would prevail. Detective John Mulligan was killed in a car outside a Roslindale store. At the time, the defense was not told Mulligan and his partner were under investigation for an alleged robbery. And I know there were a bunch of um, tips that came in that named specifically other suspects. Those were not turned over at trial. Uh, and that resulted in Sean getting a new trial. And we're told that Ellis is planning to spend part of this day getting reacquainted with his family once he finishes meeting with his attorney there. Meantime, the nephew of Detective Mulligan lashing out, our partners at Wicked Local, spoke to him. He says he's disgusted and disappointed. He says the judge sold out all cops. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Pam Cross, WCBB News Center 5. Pam, thank you.